If you are a fan of Formula 1, you have probably heard of the term porpoising. In this video, we will explain what is porpoising and how it impacts the 2022 Formula 1 cars. Let's get started. Porpoising is a term that applies to ground effect cars and was coined by former F1 driver Mario Andretti. Ground effect cars work by channeling the airflow underneath the car to create downforce. Essentially, the underbody of the car is designed to create a suction-like effect that pulls the car toward the ground. This kind of car design was popular in Formula One in the late 1970s and early 1980s, but was banned by the FIA in 1983 due to safety concerns. In the early 80s, F1 cars featured curved underbodies and had a flat skirt which was positioned extremely close to the ground to create a low pressure zone below the car. Cornering speeds increased dramatically and any damage to the skirts caused major crashes. For this reason, from 1983 to 2021, the FIA had mandated that cars have flat floors and maintain a minimum gap between the floor and the ground. This flat floor requirement essentially eliminated the downforce created by the ground effect. During this period, teams focused on improving the wing and the aerodynamic parts on the car to make progress. In 2022, the FIA brought back the ground effect by allowing cars to have underbodies which are not flat, although skirts just above the ground are still banned. So you might be wondering, why change now? While the quick answer to this question is to promote closer racing. The advancements made in aerodynamics between 1983 and 2021 created better performance, but also caused turbulent air, which prevented cars from racing each other closely, especially in the corners. To reduce turbulent air, the FIA essentially created some restrictions on the aerodynamics on the top of the car. To compensate, they allowed more downforce to be created from the bottom of the car using the ground effect. Now let's get back to what is porpoising. Porpoising happens when the ground effect sucks the car to the ground due to the downforce created by the curved parts in the underbody of the car. When the floor of the car comes close to the ground, the airflow through the underbody is cut off, which reduces downforce, causing the car to rise. As the car rises, airflow again goes through the underbody, sucking the car back down to the ground. This causes the car to bounce up and down, which can be very uncomfortable to the drivers. Formula 1 teams are aggressively working to reduce this porpoising effect without compromising the performance of the car. If teams do not find an adequate solution in the upcoming weeks, the FIA might have to step in and change the regulations to prevent the porpoising. Hope this video helped you learn about porpoising. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content. If you'd like to support this channel, check the links in the description below.